हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज गीता साड़ुंके आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ईएनटीसी इंजीनियरिंग एट एआईएसएसएमएस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन थ्री फेज वोल्टेज सोर्स इन्वर्टर ऑफ पावर डिवाइसेस एंड सर्किट्स एन इन्वर्टर रेफर्स टू ए पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस दैट कन्वर्ट्स पावर इन डीसी फॉर्म टू एसी फॉर्म at the required frequency and voltage output the ideal output of an inverter is a sinusoidal waveform such a wave gives continuous flow of power but the output from the circuit is generally not ideal it gives output in the form of square wave quasi square wave or a pwm the conversion of dc power to ac power can be done using two approaches both do conversion in two steps in the first approach a low voltage dc power is converted into high voltage dc power and then in the second step this high voltage dc power is converted to ac power in the second approach a low voltage dc power is converted to low voltage ac power and then this output is step up to high voltage ac power now we'll see the classification voltage source inverter and current source inverter voltage source inverter the voltage source inverter has stiff dc source voltage that is the dc voltage has limited or zero impedance at the inverter input terminals and in current source inverter a current source inverter is supplied with a variable current from a dc source that is high impedance this resulting current waves are not influenced by the load this is the circuit diagram of three phase voltage source inverter a three phase inverter converts a dc input into a three phase ac output its three arms are normally delayed by an angle of 120 degree so as to generate a three phase ac supply the inverter switches each has a ratio of 50% and switching occurs after every t by 6 or the time t that is 60 degree angle interval the switches s1 and s4 the switches s2 and s5 and switches s3 and s6 complement each other the two types of inverters above have two modes of conduction 180 degree mode of conduction and 120 degree mode of conduction in 180 degree mode of conduction three devices conduct at a time and in 120 degree two devices conduct at a time now the phase voltages and line voltages of 180 degree mode of conduction the phase voltages are van equal to v by 3 vbn equal to minus 2 v by 3 and vcn equal to v by 3 and the line voltages are vab equal to van minus vbn equal to v vbc equal to vbn minus vcn equal to minus v and vca equal to vcn minus van equal to 0 these are the waveforms of gate triggering and vab vbc and vca line voltages now 180 degree mode of conduction the phase voltages vn equal to v by 2 vbn equal to minus v by 2 and vcn equal to 0 and the line voltages vab equal to v vbc equal to minus v by 2 and vca equal to minus v by 2 these are the waveforms of gate triggering pulses and phase voltages vn vbn and vcn now we we'll see the applications of three phase voltage source inverter it is used in dc power source utilization an interruptible power supplies induction heating and variable frequency drive and electrical vehicle drive this is about the three phase voltage source inverters thank you